Bright skies after a rainy build-up gave another enthusiastic Ascot crowd full view of the first qualifying session of the season over land. The challenge was to avoid the trees around the racecourse as well as the regular pylons. First to set the pace with the best time of the day was Yoshi Maroya. The Japanese pilot had new cooling ducts and his pace showed the benefit. It was certainly too hot for the 2014 world champion. In front of his home crowd, Nigel Lamb was left with plenty to do. Especially after Martin Schonka underlined his improvement this season, raising the bar for the quickest time. But no sooner had he enjoyed his moment in the sun than Australia's Matt Hall ripped through the track more than a quarter of a second quicker. How would Hannes Ark, winner of the last two races, respond? With no time at all, was the simple answer. Actually, uh, it was not my time. I was just a little bit behind the airplane and decided then uh, to pull up because I didn't feel safe in the trees and behind the airplane. So it's just a smart decision, I guess, but I have a second chance. And his challenge looked even greater after the title leader, Paul Bonham, set a new track record with his first run through the track four tenths faster than Hall. Into the second runs, and Peter Persenje showed further promise with his new plane. He went fourth fastest overall. I prefer to be a good run in the first time, and then the second, time, the second run should be just easy and uh, you can make more risk. But uh, this time I had to fly fast, but still clean. And it looks like I, I like the pressure. <laughs> Paul Bollum's time remained untouchable until Matt Hall took to the skies with his second run and suddenly the competition came alive again. The Australian took two tenths of a second off Bonham's best. And Ark was next into the track, except he wasn't. The 2008 champion couldn't start his plane. It's annoying that I didn't get a second run. Uh, I was really excited uh, just to go out there and fly a fast time. Use my second chance, and if you don't get it because uh, your engine is not working, that's uh, frustrating, but that's life. A DNS left him at the back of the field, but there was no holding Bonham at the venue where he won so dramatically last year. The Briton found the best racing line of all to go fastest with the last run of the day. We could not be happier to put in two 106s and then improve in the second round by half a second or four, and four tenths of a second, chuffed to bits. His reward, however, is a round of 14 head-to-head -head against Ark, with the chance of a repeat duel if one of them finishes as fastest loser. That contest, along with Hall going head-to-head -head against Pete McLeod, guarantees drama from the first race action on Sunday. Another Ascot spectacular is in prospect.